what is the practical utility is a little bit more complex. Liberal arts is immensely practical. But the practicality only comes from, the, from learning free from the constraints of practicality. So it seems paradoxical, but if you allow people to have the space to explore and learn how to follow their own interests and their own questions, they actually learn the skills that you can't train them to have. So a lot of people want to train people to be problem solvers, but you can only train people to do things within a box. Genuine creativity, genuine human intelligence needs space. It seems paradoxical. A lot of people would think that if you start with a broad base education, that actually you're, you're going to lead to, it's going to lead to you to being superficial. The idea is if you focus on something, you can, you can go very deep. Now I think it's a, a mischaracterization of liberal arts, and it's also how most people think about liberal arts, maybe in the United States, is that it's just a smattering of different things. That it's just about being exposed to lots of different things. And I don't think that's really what a liberal arts education is about. A liberal arts education about, is about going deep into something. I think fundamentally everything's connected. And if you really ask questions about something in a focused way, you start to get at some point to questions that relate to other things. And so if you can really f explore in a focused way, really, really understanding something on a deep level, you will always get to philosophical questions. You're always going to get to questions that relate to the nature of the human mind, the relationship between the mind and the world, the nature of the world. And so the liberal arts is really connected to everything, it's preliminary to everything. It's not just about having a smattering of different things. It's really about going deeper than most people go. It's not about memorizing conclusions, it's about getting to the root. Traditional education sees the teacher as the source of the knowledge and the students are the recipients of knowledge. A real liberal arts education flips that. The students are the learners, they're also the main teachers. They are their own teachers and they're helpers of one another. And so the teacher has to completely change their role in the classroom. The teacher has to become almost invisible so that the process is working among the students. So I think in, in India as in elsewhere, there's, there's a very traditional mentality of taking knowledge from one who knows and putting it into one who doesn't. And that's, that's fundamentally the opposite of a liberal arts approach. Liberal arts presumes that people are capable of learning when they're put in the correct environment.